Does this sound familiar? You start a new plan to pass your FE and at first everything was smooth and your motivation was high, but then life happens and something interrupts your plan and you get busy and you lose motivation to a goal that seems very far away. Now, I see this happen all the time, but don't lose hope. You can get back on track with these five helpful tips. Now, before we get started, if your FE plan has failed, go ahead and let us know in the comment section below. Tip number one, awareness and acceptance. Now, it's crucial to recognize when things haven't gone according to plan. Now, we can't rewind time, but we can learn from our setbacks. So try to figure out why your plan failed from a non-judgmental place. And having an accurate assessment of where your life is currently at will enable you to move forward and come up with a new plan, which leads us to tip number two. Tip number two starts from the ground up. Maybe the plan you came up with is just not fitting right now, or perhaps it works for someone else, but it's just not quite resonating for you. And that's completely okay. Not every plan will pan out exactly as we hope for. It's important to remain flexible and modify your strategy to better fit your learning style, your work commitment, and your overall life. Now take what you learned from tip one, what worked and what didn't work, and let that guide you as you create a plan from scratch. Now the key here is to come up with a plan that aligns with your lifestyle and helps you progress towards your goal. Now if you need help formulating a study plan for your FE preparation, don't hesitate to email us and we can set up a call with you and guide you through it. Tip number three, list your commitments. As you begin creating a new study plan, take a close look at your schedule and list all your commitments, be it work, family time, chores, gym, church, and so forth. And by doing this, you'll gain a clear and realistic understanding of your daily availability. And you'll be able to determine how much time you can genuinely dedicate to studying each day. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this video and you find this content helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. All right, so bonus tip, schedule rest and relaxation. Now, one of your commitments from the previous tip should be rest and relaxation. While preparation is key, studying long hours without breaks can actually be counterproductive. So don't make your schedule too intense. Studying seven days a week, four to five hours is probably too much and it could lead to burnout. Instead, give yourself permission to take days off from studying for the FE. These breaks will help you maintain a high level of motivation. And remember guys, it's about consistency and quality, not quantity. Tip number four, start small. If time blocking or having a rigid plan didn't work for you, then I recommend at least having a daily to-do list and keep it concise and limit your list to just three tasks. Now let's take a look at an example. Let's say you're diving into the topic of centroid. Now your list might look like this. So first you're gonna have review the centroid equations and grasp the concept. Two, tackle Jenny prep problems on YouTube. Or if you have our courses, two might look like work on centroid problems from 19 to 21. And then you can, you can add a third list um, that would be problems from 22 to 24. Now, as you finish tasks, you can check them off. And then for any unfinished tasks, you can place an arrow next to them as a reminder to tackle them the next day. Start with this short list until you regain momentum. Now, as you consistently complete your manageable to-do list, you'll start to feel a sense of accomplishment. This boosts your confidence and motivation, paving the way for a productive study session the next day. Now, let me share with you guys something a little personal. So a few months ago, I was not feeling my best for about three months and my energy went down, my productivity took a hit. And when I started to feel better, jumping straight back into my usual busy schedule just wasn't possible. So I started simple. 
Now, as I started working on the mechanical afternoon course, my to-do list started with small tasks, like one day, read chapter one, followed by type out notes from chapter one on the next. And little by little, as I felt more like myself, I started adding more to the list without feeling stress. And you know what? Gradually, as my energy and momentum returned, I was able to expand my to-do list without feeling overwhelmed. Also, checking off those small tasks every day made me feel like I was winning. It was these little victories that kept me moving forward. Now, by the way, guys, we're about to launch part of the Mechanical Afternoon course. So if you are interested, make sure to sign up here and we'll send you an email once we launch it. Tip number five, study resources. One more thing I'd recommend taking a look at is your study resources. Are they slowing you down? Perhaps the material you're using is not helping you pick up the pace and causing you to lag. Because let's be real, if your study material is slowing you down, it can impact both your motivation and your study plan. Now, if there's even a hint that your study resources might be the issue, it's time for a change. Don't stay stuck in a loop with the same materials hoping things will just suddenly click. Be proactive. Look for study resources that will resonate with your learning style and help you get closer to passing your FE exam. And remember, guys, your tools should work for you, not against you. Now, if you're not sure which study material to get, make sure to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. Now, if you're not sure about our courses, make sure to check out this video here where I talk about them and then just see if it's the right fit for you. Now, if let's say you came up with a new plan, but now you're like, Kenza, I'm struggling with focus. Well, we got you covered because a couple weeks ago, I posted a video where I shared seven tips on how to regain focus. Make sure to check it out. It's really going to help you guys with your studying and then also help you retain information better for your FE exam. So that's all we have for today's video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure that you guys hit the bell because the next video we're going to post is going to be a problem on thermodynamics. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine.